And she's one of my friends from school and Tuesday are the days that I am at school so surprise yay <laughs> <laughs> um, you might recognize her from last week Tuesday which would be the song challenge video that I combined with our wine class yes that was so fun so in wine class we learn about different regions where wines from and where wines grown and how different uh, the varieties of wine are made. Yeah, and, and just that type of jazz. Sure. <laughs> so today we are going to visit a winery. I do not know if I'm going to be allowed to record. So, but before we do that, or if we're even able to do that, <laughs> Anna and I are going to do a quiz on what kind of wine we are. Ooh, so I'm excited. We're going to have to do it twice because she's got to do it once, I got to do it once. Yeah. So. It is a BuzzFeed quiz if you want to find it yourself. Yes, it is going to be down in the description box below. And yes, we are 21. I'm so 22. <laughs> we're over 21. So if you're we're under 21, <laughs> do not drink unless you are from your specific country that allows you to drink. Yeah, don't break the law, kids. No, don't break the law. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Anna, go first. Okay. Hey, you want to, you want the mouse to... Sure. Here, wait. I don't want to be out of frame. Um, choose a type of cheese. Okay. Um, oh no. <laughs> um, let's see. Cheddar, Machango. Oh god, this mouse is so sensitive. Yeah. Um, I'd probably go mozzarella. Because I'm basic like that, and I like me a good mozzarella. Let's see. Oh god, what's up with this mouse? Um, would you, where would you enjoy a glass? You might want to use the, the thingy so you don't. Oh, true. Here, wait. Let's do that. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! Here we go. Got it. Um, yeah. Um, where would you enjoy a glass? New Zealand, California, Italy. Ooh, the Hamptons. Ooh. I want to be rich. <laughs> 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 um, let's see. Next question. Do, do, do. Choose a celeb to drink with. Oprah, Leo, Madonna, Beyonce! Oh my god, Amy Poehler. This is a good quiz. I don't know if I would choose Beyonce or Amy Poehler. Probably Amy Poehler because she's probably easier to get along with, I would think. Especially when she's drunk. <laughs> oh yeah, oh my god, especially when she's drunk. I'm so excited. Okay. What is your ideal date? Ooh, going for a walk in the park. Mm. Bungee jumping, brunch, going to the club, visiting the theater, laser tag, cooking, fancy dinner. Probably be, probably be brunch. I like breakfast, but I also like lunch. So like brunch? <laughs> Question mark? Knowing my luck, I'll probably get mimosa. Um, <laughs> choose a color that fits your mood. Oh, I don't Blue. Oh my god, Pinot Gris! You are relaxed, but still enjoy being in the middle of the action. You're so comfortable in your little world, and you love catching up on gossip. I feel that. That's my aesthetic. <laughs> Pinot Gris Joe is a white wine. E. My turn! Yay! <laughs> Do the type of cheese. Um, I literally have not had anything besides mozzarella and cheddar. So mozzarella. Not even blue cheese? Not even with chicken wings? Sin. <laughs> I have it on the bubble of chicken wrap, but that's about it. <laughs> Where would you enjoy a glass? Um, I've always wanted to go to France. And there's more wine regions in France than there is in any other country. Fun fact, there's six Fun wine fact. regions. Can we name them all? No. Loire, <laughs> Bordeaux, Alsace, Burgundy, Alsace, and Champagne. Champagne. No. Oh, we did it! Yay! You did it. I just helped. <laughs> Professor Reynolds, you should be proud. I hope he is. He's probably not. <laughs> um, I have to go with Leo. He didn't live. He didn't win that Grammy, so he's gonna win a date with me. <laughs> uh, what is your ideal date? Uh, I don't like any of these things, but I enjoy fun stuff like laser tag. Ooh, laser tag is fun. Watch me get like Merlot. Oh. <laughs> Choose a color that fits your mood. Well, purple's my favorite color, but I'm golden. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Champagne. <gasps> Lucky. <laughs> pop that bubbly. I thought it said pop that body. <laughs> DJ Khalid is like the gift. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Pop that bubble, you're the real deal. You give off a 
royal oh presence and demand your personnel brand is taken seriously. Why? Yes, I do. Oh my god, that's hysterical. That's so funny. All right. I just can't stop looking at the gif. <laughs> that's like so funny. Oh my god. Wait, you're not in focus yet. Okay. Does that work? You can always see yeah. my face. Yes. yes. She's doing an intro. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay, so we've made it to Arrowhead Vineyards. Vineyards. Arrowhead Vineyards here in Lockport. What did he say? <laughs> I was, he was just trying to make you well. <laughs> Rip. Um, so we're here to taste wine and everything that we did will be in the description box down below and also if you are here in Youngstown or Lewiston or Niagara Falls. It's Lockport. Lockport. I said, I, I, you said I, that last. No, right, no, okay, but, kids. Like, okay, we're okay, okay, Lockport right now, okay. but like. <laughs> oh, there's a cat. Too. Wait, where? Baby. Cat. Cat cam. <laughs> <laughs> so the edges will be down in this description bar if you guys want to check it out. If you're ever in the area. <laughs> because apparently I'm wrong. I said Lockport, but I meant like, I mean, we go to school in Lewiston. So like, we're in the general area, so close enough. So let's go. So open up. So when I came back from lunch, I just had the interpreter stand there and I just asked him to say everything. Let him know I've got two cases of beer here, and everybody you can ask a question gets a beer. Well, it was the most loud <laughs> in the afternoon, but it was kind of funny. So I said, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm Back. Somebody's gonna have to fall. <laughs> Alright, we'll hold that thought in your mind and then give it a taste. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's like butter. Butter. Oh. What do you guys taste? You can, you can talk, you can speak up. Mm -hmm. What do we think? Taste wise. Butter. Butter. <laughs> Definitely. Little, little buttery notes. I smell it more than I taste it though. Okay. I taste fruitiness. Fruity. <laughs> <laughs> grapes. <laughs> not no, not really like grapes, but mm -hmm. really good. That's yeah. good wine. We're getting a thumbs up, okay. Is anyone getting coconut? Really good. A little bit of coconut. So when we did the tasting notes for this, our had a sales case of zero and he got um, I wasn't recording. No. Yeah. That was so pure. Oh my gosh. Now it's just gonna sound scripted. Now we have to rip. <laughs> now we have to redo it. Whoa. <laughs> it's really sweet. I like it. No. But ice wine's expensive, so. We totally just did this and I didn't hit record. Chelsea didn't know that ice wine wow. is a dessert wine. And it's then I got called the dangling. <laughs> Me too, though. Oh, that was so, that was so pure. So, so mad. Pure. Oh, I'm Such so a upset. Pure, pure, innocent moment. <laughs> this is really nice, though. I like it a lot. What does this pair well with? Um, cheesecake, maybe? I could see this with cheesecake. I could see this with like a mousse, okay. something lighter. Or Definitely something cheesecake. Heavier. Cheesecake. I support that. I don't even know what this tastes like. It just tastes sugar. It's Good. buttery. I get butter. I get vanilla. I get like a hint of anise. She's a connoisseur. Okay. Um, okay. But I really like it a lot. It's kind of. It has like a tart flavor to it. Yeah, but it's really, really sweet. Mm -hmm. Which I like. I appreciate that. In a wine. I dare you to buy a bottle of rose so we can try it. <laughs> Just drinking it out the it bottle says on the bus. Sparkling dry rose. Sparkling dry rose? Dry. It Ask her about it. Opening on the bus. <laughs> drinking wine on the bus. Out of the bottle. Out of the bottle. Straight out the bottle. Brianna doesn't like her ice wine. Mm -hmm. I do. Anyways. This is yummy. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm really sorry for these angles. I'm really, I don't have my, my mini tripod like I normally do, so. I just downed my whole glass. Anna approves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want mine? There's only like yes. one sip left. Still a little bit left. You go, girl. Ah, delicious. 
a professor staring at us. Good. Or me. Good. <laughs> Do you want me to take your and chug it? Oh, I'll put your glass away. Thank you. Ooh, I wouldn't be able to do that. That is yummy. Mm, that's strange. I like it. I'm gonna ask her about her roll. What does that go well with? Like, what does it go well actually, especially in a year like this year? Because the spring's been awfully cold and wet and snowy and windy and everything else. So we come out here during autumn with driving rain and snow and put these down, um, leaving the bulk of the material in the vineyard and then tying the caves onto the wire. There's a reason we do it this way. This is called cave pruning, and I know none of you are signing up for agriculture, but who knows, you might change your mind someday. So in a cool climate like ours, it's also humid. We have issues with mildew. And if we leave the rough wood, they call it a cordon on the vine. You probably seen pictures of them in books where there's really thick cordwood on the wire and then little thin things coming up that are going to be the eventual fruit. That cordwood can foster mildew and since I'm a sustainable farmer, I don't use any heavy duty spray material. I do spray but nothing heavy duty that I have to be licensed for pesticide use. I like to make sure that I don't get much in the way of rough bark up near the fruit zone where it can trap mildew. So instead we do cane pruning and tie to wood down that's less likely to have a problem. Too exciting, but it actually that red barn, the back third of it, is full of a giant harvester. And, uh, I gotta climb a ladder to get on top of that. And so we bring the grapes in here at harvest time, and then we dump them into the hopper. Now during harvest, below that hopper, there's a stemmer and crusher unit, and that takes the grapes, spins them around a spindle, and if there's any low material other than grape that shoots out the end, and we use that for composting, and the grapes themselves fall through a mash, fall through a mashing unit and then we pump them into tanks for fermentation or directly into the press in here. That's the press in the, that big cylinder, and that's actually an air-bladder press. It presses the grapes gently. Um, well, I guess it presses them fairly hard, actually. There's a portal press in the last season, not here, but in California, where the winemaker was up in the press and it got turned on, and that air-bladder had enough pressure to the man died, so people get the farm but you have to be very careful. But it does generally squeeze the juice out, and then we pump it into um, tanks for fermentation. Now we're at the point now where the 2017 whites are ready for bottling, and the 2015 reds, because those take us a little bit longer, we age them in barrels. So what we've been doing today, uh, they were cold stabilized. We take advantage of mother nature here as much as we can. So we had taken the tanks out of the disco, we had that horrible cold weather, <laughs> and put them on the press. And what happens during that phase of wine making is the tartrates that are in the wine, tartaric acid, drops out and crystallizes and it forms on the side of the tank. So then we can carefully remove the wine and you slowly pump it out into a new vessel, which Molly's just finishing up for the day, uh, getting the tanks ready that are going to be bottled next week when the bottling line comes. At the same time, she's already in the last few weeks, or months even, taking all the 2015 red wine out of barrels and blending that in the tank. So these tanks, are also ready to go into bottling and with the door shut. And then the 2017 reds are ready to go into the barrel. So we'll just take a quick walk into it. There's not lights in here yet. We just have our work lights, so it's very uh, old school. Yeah. Okay. So they can turn the brightness down on this then. Ooh. Ooh. Noir. In Noir, we only leave it a year because it's such a delicate wine, especially in a cool climate. We don't have quite the, um, the heaviness that you see from the ones that are gone out west because of the way our growing temperatures are. And I, I almost think that the reason it happens here is we get such a warm fall that they resin very quickly, but the cold nights haven't come yet. So we haven't got that coloration and pigmentation entirely into the skin, but they're already hitting 24 bricks, so we bring them in for fermentation because they won't hold up much longer, to be honest. After uh, Pinot Noir has very thin skin, 
And once it's ready to take the you have to get out right away or else it rots in the vine. So it's a very tenuous, um, it's a difficult break. It's bad. Okay, so what was your favorite wine that we tried? Um, mine was the dessert wine because I'm, I really like sweet wine. So yeah, it was really sweet. Like it wasn't no it's normal wine. What was your favorite wine? I don't know what to do, you won't let go. <laughs> what was your favorite wine? Which wine did you buy? I bought the Riesling. Wow, great dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Everyone's watching me, this is so strange. <laughs> Let's play the game if Brianna has another parking ticket or not. Chances are, not in my favor. <laughs> uh, I'm struggling, I forgot my one out of like seven. Okay. Uh, yeah. She parts in the faculty spot when she's not supposed to. Okay, but all the faculty's gone. Who cares? She's still not here me. for like three hours, just like me, but I parked in Dwyer where we're supposed to park. Nope, too far away. If it was warm out, like it was supposed to be in April, then yes, I would do that. But it is not warm out. She has me. She drives me. There's no ticket! This has never happened before. It actually happened last week. I think it, uh, yeah, I think so, you're right. Because you drove me last week and you didn't have a ticket. Of course not. Okay, now we're done for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!